This recipe for focaccia provides great results even for complete beginners. You will not need a mixer and also no kneading is required. Into 450 milliliters of warm water stir in 1 teaspoon of sugar and 10 grams of dried yeast. Leave for 10 minutes for the yeast to activate. The flour to use for focaccia is bread flour, also called strong flour. Combine 600 grams of flour with 10 grams of salt. Make a well in the centre of the flour and add in the activated yeast. Combine the flour and yeast for a few minutes, then add in 20 milliliters of olive oil and continue stirring. The dough mixture which you'll end up with will feel quite sticky which is the consistency that we're looking for. Cover the bowl with some cling film and a kitchen towel and leave for 45 minutes. After this time the dough will have risen. What we'll do now is a bit of stretching and pulling to bring out the gluten. Bear in mind that the dough is quite sticky so you can dip your fingers in some oil to minimise it sticking to the fingers. Do this for about 2 minutes, then cover the dough and leave for another 45 minutes. We'll need to repeat the same pulling and stretching of the dough for a total of 3 times, leaving a 45 minute wait between each round. This is round 2. Carry out the third round of the pulling and stretching, then cover for 45 minutes.
Line the baking dish with a good amount of olive oil and give the dough one final stretch before placing it into the dish. Cover the dish with cling film and a towel and let the dough rise for a further half an hour. Pour some more oil on top of the dough and use your fingers to press into the dough. You can cook the focaccia as it is now or you can add your choice of toppings. I'm using sun-dried tomatoes and rosemary. Bake in a fan-assisted oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes.